Hi guys, Jason Piranha Parts Australia here. Uh, I'm just letting everyone know we are selling our GP RXP. We've had this project going for a year and uh, we're going to move it on. It's all I can tell you, it's a genuine 100 mile an hour boat and it's scary fast. Um, it's got everything done to it, um, basically in the rear end here. We've got all the pump tunnel mods. Um, we've had a lot of people involved in the stuff down there. I uh, won't go into it in too much detail, but it's um, it's all done right. Also on the boat itself here, in the engine bay, have a look. Um, Piranha parts intake manifold, the turbo. Uh, that turbo was sent to me by Malvin with some um, modifications to suit this application and a few little tricks we had done. All the piping is done by myself, Jason, Piranha parts. Um, we run inside there a Rotex Racing uh, custom drive shaft. It's got a cush drive down there and also a solid drive shaft from there to the rear of the prop. Now that drive shaft alone was 1900 US dollars. Um, my friend in Germany sent me the material across. We had it machined up here in Australia. Uh, we spent a lot of time on this boat guys. As you know it's been a one year project and it's a genuine 100 mile an hour boat. Now the engine inside alone, um, it runs an MID block sent out from America. It runs a 104 millimetre bore with CP pistons. Um, the internals of the engine are balanced. Um, there's a few other little tricks done inside we don't need to mention about. It's a lightened flywheel. The head's been done, um, flowed and ported. It has a different camshaft in it. It also carries Fiera valves and different springs. Uh, hence this boat can rev out to 9.2 all day, every day. Um, as I mentioned, it's a 100 mile an hour boat, genuine. Up on top here, just to give you guys an idea of the gauges, uh, we have everything under control. So we have a pump tunnel pressure gauge there to keep the ski within the uh, parameters that we need so there's no accidents. Uh, we can keep an eye on everything. We've also got the water pressure running into the engine. Now this is a custom built carbon fibre plate we had made and designed for this ski. Up the front there we have a tiny tack to keep an eye on everything. Up on the handlebars here we have the on switch, the start switch should I say. Um, also it is uh, switches between boost levels and also launch control. Um, up on the front of the ski here we have the uh, boost gauge. We have two COSO gauges, air fuel and also EGTs plus a water temp gauge on top there. Uh, we also have, when testing, we have another um, LM set up there when testing the um, EGTs if we're making any alterations. Now, it's got a custom wiring loom, guys. Um, I had this made and spent a lot of money on it. It basically runs from the Autronic ignition directly into the battery um, and straight onto the engine. So it's eliminating all those wires inside your boat. It's nice and easy. Um, I spent a lot of time on this. Uh, Les Cook did the program for me. We've made some modifications from that point in the ECU. This turbo, believe it or not, can be out of this boat within 15 minutes. It's designed to pop out nice and easy. Um, I've done it right. I've spent a lot, a lot of time on it. Hence, I believe this is one of the nicest setup boats in the world today. I know there's a lot of nice boats out there, but I really, guys, I've taken my time. Inside, it's fully laid with carbon fibre. Um, it's got all the pump tunnel mods you can think of, all the safety features are in there that you guys know about and uh, when you're running a 100 mile an hour boat you don't make mistakes and that's one thing we do here in Australia, we don't make mistakes. Um, it's just not worth it. Um, and the boat's painted inside as well, so there's a nice smooth premium grade finish as you guys can see there um, and that just makes a world of difference when cleaning the boat, washing things out. The engine itself, it's had everything done to it. As I've mentioned to you guys, it's had everything done to it. There's no corners cut, um, totally balanced. There's a lot of other little tricks inside there that have been, you know, we've worked out over the years. And, um, and the turbo, again, was sent to me by Malvin, and uh, we did all the custom pipe work here ourselves. It's a bit of a sleeper. Um, the exhaust comes down in under the pump. So when you put the boat in the water, not many people know what it's all about. But I can tell you now, when this boat starts, uh, people come for miles to see what it's all about and uh, this boat guys is scary fast. Now I've been building boats for a long time. My last turbo boat was bought by a guy in America. I sent that across to him and uh, as far as I know it's still going today and he's still very happy with it. Um, this one, well it's, it's, it's a step above the rest guys. This thing is so fast. There's no way I'll take it to its full potential. 
Um, I'm actually scared of how much power this thing puts out. Now, um, we've done our homework on the engine. I know it's got 437 horsepower inside there, um, as you can see, but I can tell you now with the modifications we've got, it's up around about the 480, and I think that's conservative is what I'm saying. Um, if you guys, you guys can do all sorts of things here, if you want to put in a higher premium grade uh, fuel, you can uh, wind the boost up on this thing. I don't believe there's any need to, <laughs> but you have got the options if you have the desire. Um, and I don't know why you would ever want to do it, but it's there if you need it, um, just to put in a bit of C10 and, uh, and play around with it, but there's no need. This thing is a daily driver, despite what anyone will tell you in the world. Uh, most people in Australia will tell you they've seen this ski riding around, and it's, uh, it is a daily driver. It runs on pump gas right now uh, on a conservative boost level and still runs 100 mile an hour and uh, no problems at all. Now, amazingly, this uh, something we spend a lot of time on this boat is people say, you've got a turbo, you can't wave jump, you can't do anything. Well, believe me, you're wrong. Um, we have this turbo fully braced. It's braced down to the engine mounts. There is no way this turbo is going anywhere. Um, it's rock solid, I can tell you that right now. It, uh, if anything moves the engine, it, as you can see there, it's actually moving the whole ski, so um, it's bulletproof. Uh, I can tell you up the front of the boat, um, the Autronics up there, it's in, a, it's in a waterproof marine setup. It's the best money can buy. Uh, there's no concerns about water issues anywhere. The battery's up there. Um, we've got all the um, braided lines all the way through the boat and that gives you some indication of the level we've spent and the time we've spent making this right. The intake manifold there, that was built by me. There's a lot of time in that manifold and uh, hence if you want to break 100 mile an hour uh, and do it fast, you, you need to have the right gear to do it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video of my boat. It's a full custom paint job as you can see. Uh, it's a beautiful colour. It just pops in the sun. And um, like I said, when this thing starts, uh, you'd be surprised how many people come running to see what the hell's in it. Um, I can't take it to its full potential. I am actually scared of the boat, uh, believe it or not. Um, it's, it's, when you pull the trigger, um, all I can say is you better be hanging on because this thing will rip your arms and um, it'll keep ripping it all the way until you, uh, you basically can't hang on anymore. Um, like I said, top speed, it's over 100 mile an hour now. Um, it comes with a trailer, unless, I'm gonna, unless somebody overseas wants the boat, um, I'll just pack it up in a container. And like I did with the last one I sent to a guy in America, um, we'll just pack it up in a container and ship it out to anyone who wants this boat. And uh, like I said, I put my heart and soul into this thing and I think it shows. So uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. And um, yeah, hope someone, uh, someone's the uh, proud owner shortly.